Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go.
Do it.
Okay.
This sucks. Let's get started. Try to answer this. This is it. You do know.
okay. man.
Hey.
Rain, huh? understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Let's do it. I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so. What do you think?
What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. All right. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned! Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature.
This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. You okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive a fraction of power. My, my. <laughs> I am Arsene, the other you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> Ah, how impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many. Execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. All right. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. How fares your progress in our game?
Are you finished? What? Are you finished? What? No slacking off! Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker! So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out.
What are your thoughts? Hey. This is amazing. What? What are your thoughts? Let's go. Reveal your Who true you? form.
Okay. Man, Focus. that was easy. Your true form. Okay, I'll show you an example first. You better watch closely. Zero, show your might! Use this opportunity to baton pass and swap your turn with someone else. Okay. and give the baton pass a try. Right. The baton pass made you stronger. Persona! Go down! Nice going! 